Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make my little evil minion. So we're going to do a couple of things first. First of all, it's a hook, um, a hook design. You will need your loom just to do the magic ring. I find that it makes it a little easier to do the magic ring using your loom or a peg from your loom. The first things we're going to do are make his teeth, his eye, his hair and his arms so that we have those ready uh, for, for when we uh, need to put them on him. So let's get started. You're going to need something to hold these on. Um, if you don't have, um, I don't know if many of you get these uh, sort of plastic hooks when you buy uh, the brands that are not rainbow loom bands, but these work exceptionally well. I know they're nasty, um, but if you keep them, they work exceptionally well as holding hooks, just to hold things on them until you're ready to use them. So um, I sort of try and keep a variety of mine um, instead of throwing them away to use as holding hooks. So good idea not to throw the, uh, the cheap and nasty ones away. Let's get started. We'll we'll start with the easy stuff first. We're going to do his teeth. And as you can see, I've got them in a variety of different lengths. And all it is, is a single white band. And you're going to take it and wrap it around your hook once, twice, three times. That gives you four loops on your hook. You're going to take a single white band, stretch it, figure eight, loop it on itself, and slide that on like so. Now that can be a smaller tooth, okay? And you're going to need at least two of these. To make the longer tooth, you just add another white band like this. So that it's one band longer. All right, so that's one tooth. I'm gonna do three this length, and I'm gonna do two the shorter length, so wrap it once, twice, and three times. Take my other band, loop it on itself. I believe that's uh, called a capped band. And here is my next tooth. I'm going to do a short one. So let's do uh, another one. One, two, three, four. And this one I'll make a long one. And I'm just alternating the length of these and as I said if you have um, another hook that you can use as a holding hook that's fantastic you can just transfer them onto your holding hook if you don't have another hook to use you can use anything really you can use a chopstick you can use a pencil um, anything that you've got lying around you could use the the spoke of a fork um, anything really just to sort of keep these from uh, getting lost I've, I've used knitting needles One, two, three. pencils pens do a short one here Oops, get all those loops. And I'll do one more as a long one. So we have five teeth. Like that. Keep these all together. Okay, so there's his teeth. I've got his teeth ready. I don't really want them to be too stretched out. So I'm going to keep them all like that. Now, his arms. I'm going to put the white away for a minute. Well, actually, we'll use the white again. We'll do his. We'll do his eye next. So I'm taking my loom. I'm going to use one peg, and I'm going to have it so that the open part of the peg is facing away from me. I'm going to take a single white band and wrap it around once and twice. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, it did it. Now we're pushing your hook through the three bands like this. And we're going to do three white and three purple. 
okay now the reason i'm choosing purple is because i want his eye to look like he's sort of got this sleepy dozy look to him you don't have to do that but i just thought for this one it would be quite fun to do so what we need to do is start we're going to start here and go all the way around and do three white and then three purple okay so here's a white and budge it around and you push you're pushing your hook through taking a band and pulling it and then for this one you're going to take the middle band the middle loop and then join them together let's do the same for the third one the middle one goes over and then join them together Now we've moved to the three purple. Make sure you go through all three of those little white bands that are around the uh, peg. And lastly here for our last purple band. And I'm going to take that off my loom. Now spread this out so that it's evenly spaced like that so you see how we've got that there i'm going to put my hook through and i'm now going to use silver bands just to do the ring around his eye so i'm going to start by taking a silver and doing a slip stitch like this actually a slip stitch silly me slip stitch let's go back a step slip stitch instead of a single crochet so the slip stitch will go through the white like this and through the purple and it joins them together like that and then your loop here is on the top instead of through these two bands it looks a little better let's do a second stitch in this first stitch here and it's going to be a single crochet so you take your first your band and slide it through reclaim and you do your single crochet and join them together. Okay, do the same. And we're going to do two single crochets in each of these stitches. Back into this third stitch here. Do our first single crochet and this is called an increase and then back through that third stitch because we're doing two single crochets in these we'll go to the purple and back through that purple So that was the second one in the purple we're doing this next stitch here which is stitch number five we do our first single crochet and our second and then in our last one we'll do our first and our second if I can pick up a band <laughs> like that now what we're going to do is just push our hook through that first little loop here and we will take a black band and do a slip stitch so you go through and then add that stitch that was on your hook to it and tie it in a slip knot which is one over the other and pull tight this is going to be the spot that we attach it to our um, little mask or headband or whatever you want to call it find a corresponding side if you can get your hook through <laughs> there we go and do another one so you have it either side now I have to say 
this one is slightly lower down it's it's joining it slightly lower down that's not really going to be a problem but you can add one here if you like okay so that's the eye and actually I'm going to see if I can And take that stitch out that last one let's see if we can make this work so it looks a little better I think that's going to look a little better there we go all right now yes you do have we can do it this way where that purple bit is not as obvious doesn't matter really which way it goes. Alright, so I did take the one stitch out just to go around that so that it's more even. Alright, so we've done an eye, we've done some teeth, let's do his arms. So for the arms, we're going to use black to start with, and you need two of these. I'm going to do one with you but then you can do the other yourself. So take a single and you're going to wrap it around your hook once, twice and three times. And then a single black band, stretch it into a figure eight and slide on. And do the same with another one. And slide on. Move that down your hook. Take a single band, wrap once, twice three times, single black band, you're doing these three of these, so that's once, and twice, and we'll do one more, once, twice, three times, oops, let's double it, figure eight, Slide on, and another one, slide these on, now take another single band, figure eight, and we'll slide all three of these onto that capped band. like that and reclaim the end of your band like so another figure eight slide that on like this and now this is his little hand now what we're going to do is his little arm again we're going to be taking a single band stretching it and sliding on we're going to do this eight times, so that was one, two, three, four, five. Six, whoopsie, seven, and eight. And we're going to put this on a holding hook until we're ready. Like that. Let's make another one.
Pepsi. Reclaim the end. And now we do eight in the purple. Now the purple that I'm using today is um, by a company of the name Rainbow Braid. And um, I, uh, I got mine from Amazon. And I have to say... Or was it? I think it was Amazon or from their website. It might have been from their website. One, two, three. I think it was their website. I have to say, they're lovely bands to work with. They're lovely to loom with, but they're also really nice to crochet with. Um, they have done testing to uh, to show that the bands are not harmful or uh, you know, have the, the safety. One, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, the safety uh, that is required, like, you know, um, well, I should read it to you, shouldn't I? I'll find that in a minute and read it to you. But uh, they're a very nice band to work with. So that was eight. We did eight on the other one. Let's put that on our holding hook. Like that. So there's our little arms, our teeth, our eye. Now... For the hair, I'm actually going to use the Rainbow Loom Jelly uh, Purple for that, just because it gives it a bit of a um, difference between the body and the hair. I think it, it looks a little better. So I'm just going to grab some jelly bands for the hair. Here we go. And we're doing chains. So you're going to start with a single band, wrap it once, twice, three times if you want. And we're just doing, and they're jelly, so they slide all over the place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we're doing single bands chaining to ten. Okay, that's all we're doing. And I'm going to put those on a knitting needle. The reason why we need ten of them. All right, so I will catch you back when you've done 10 of those as well. Okay, so I'm back. I've done my 10 little chains, single banded chains, and I found a different hook. I didn't need to use my knitting needle. So I have those all ready, and hopefully you have too. So, hair, arms, teeth, and the eye. They are all the things that we need to add to our little minion. And now we're going to actually get started with our minion. I am using a stitch holder. If you don't have a stitch holder, and you can get them in little packets like this from your craft shop, you could use um, a paper clip. I also, I think, have a safety pin in here that you could easily use. You could use a C clip, or you could use an S clip, anything like that really, as a, as a stitch marker. It just helps you keep in the right spot as you're counting your rounds. Now, um, the colors, obviously we've used the jelly, as I said, I'm using the Rainbow Braid for the purple. I've used silver and white, and the black is Rainbow Loom. And let me tell you a little bit about the Rainbow Braid, just because it's it's a, a brand that some of you might not know. Um, they actually sell them in kits. Their, their website is www.rainbowbraid, R-A-I-N-B-O-W-B-R-A-I-D, 
com, and they have packages uh, that you can buy um, you know you can buy the 7200 7, package or the 5400 package um, they're refills they do not include um, a, a loom of any sort uh, let me I'm going to read to you uh, a little bit so the they have 5400 refill packs 7200 is a mega pack 24 different bold beautiful colors they have metallic neon glitter glow glow in the dark they are independently tested by u.s labs um, to make sure that they don't have lead or phthalates i can never say that phthalates phthalates or whatever they're latex free rubber bands they do stretch very nicely and i'm going to show you they do stretch very nicely and then they come back into their shape. So even if you you know stretch it out like this, and there's there it is back, and here's an original one. It goes back to shape very, very nicely. They're a nice feel to them. Um, you know, they've been cut nicely. You don't find um I haven't found that any are sort of really thin and manky, and then all the others are, are nice, or there's not a thin part in them. They all seem to be machined pretty nicely which is fantastic the other nice thing is they have a 365 day quality guarantee so if you're not happy with them you can send them back and they will either you know they'll give you your money back which which is fantastic individual bags so you're not sorting i have to tell you i hate sorting uh, sorting is the bane of my life and i will actually i prefer to buy other brands to rainbow loom than to actually sort lazy i know all right let's get started with our little minion we're going to do his head so we need to do a magic ring i'm going to take a purple single band and i'm going to wrap it around this one peg once whoops once and twice so i have it wrapped twice around which gives me three little loops okay i'm going to poke my hook down now we're doing a magic ring with five so you can take five bands so you know exactly where you are put the first one on you're going to drag it back through up and you're going to take this side of the band closest to you up and over as if you were doing a slip knot and move it around push your hook back through keeping the loop on your hook still which is important back through so you've got three loops take the middle one up and over the one on the left and then take the right one up and over to join go back through let's do it with our third band Oops. you don't have to do this on the loom you can do it just by uh, making an end cap and going through it but I think it's easier for people to uh, to use something like this so keeping your hook on that last loop take that off your loom you don't need your loom anymore you're going to spread this around so that it's evenly spaced around like that okay poke your hook as you can see you've got these little teardrops one, two, three, four. Number five is on our hook. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Here we go. So here we go. See these little teardrops? One, two, three, four, and five. So what we're going to do is poke our hook through that first one. Okay. I'm going to take some bands. Drag a single band through and tie it together in a loop, a slip knot like that and then go through again for our second one because we're doing an increase okay in each of these we're doing an increase which is two single crochets in each of these stitches so there's one and back through there's two just like we did for the eye so 
two single crochets in each of these stitches like that. Now, see this little first one here? You're going to go back through that with your hook, take a single band, and this is going to be our second row. Go through it like that. This is where we're going to put our stitch marker on. Okay, now what we're doing for this one is a single crochet and then an increase. So that was our single crochet. Go through the next band, which is this one here, the next loop, and we'll do an increase, which is two single crochets in the same stitch. And I have to say, these rainbow braid bands slide beautifully on my hook. This is a single crochet, and now we do an increase. Oops. Which is two in the same spot. Single. And an increase. My only, um, the only downside I see to the companies where you have to buy a pack is that if you don't use, say, the yellow, you end up with more yellow than you would use of another colour. And if you're a power loomer, <laughs> um, and you tend to go through you know, a number of colours, like if you're doing a TARDIS or something, you use all your blue up, but you've still got all these other colours left. So sometimes it's, uh, for me, definitely, I like to buy my colours in bulk, in uh, just one colour at a time. So that's the only downside. But if, you're, if you um, are a bracelet maker or a figure maker, and you sort of even out what colours you use, then it really isn't a problem. It, it's a, a nice way of buying it. It's a, a, an economical way too, really. Especially when they do such good deals sometimes. Um, when I first bought my Rainbow Braid, it was uh, an introductory deal of you don't pay anything for the bands, you're just paying for the postage. I was like, my goodness, that's too good to be true. I'm sure they're going to be awful bands to use. And I got them, and I was like, holy cow, these are lovely. Okay, so here I am. Hey, get off. My stitch marker's in the way. I'm going to stop here like that, okay? I'm going to move my stitch marker out and now all I'm going to do is doing single crochets all the way around. Okay, There's no more increases until we get to the bottom where we do a decrease. All we're doing, we don't need to increase the size of this anymore, we just need it to come out. So this is going to be a single crochet and we're doing two rounds of single crochet and then two rounds of black single crochet.
back to the beginning here. I'm going to put my stitch marker in. I'm going to do my second round of purple, just single crochets as I mentioned. Now if you wait till the end of this video, I'll show you um, what I plan to be making next. So, I'm back here at the beginning. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a single crochet in purple, because that finishes, oh that was my cat sneezing, bless you. That finishes my uh, my row here, my, my round. I'm now going to go through the next stitch and I'm going to take a black band and I'm going to do a slip stitch. So I go through that one and then th add the loop to it instead of just doing a single crochet. And this is so, I'm going to put my stitch marker on that. This is so that we don't end up with a sort of sort of like a jagged join. I'm just doing it like that so we don't have a jagged join. Now I'm going to do two rounds with black bands. And again, single crochet. Oops. Now, when it comes undone like that, it's not a huge problem because they're all in little slip knots. So just pick them up and re knot them. It's really very easy to fix. Now we're at the beginning again, back through those two starting loops, the front loops, and we'll do our second round in black. I'm going to change where I added my stitch marker. Tell you it's this time of year. I wish I was back in Australia. It's freezing here.
back at the beginning here. Now, I'm going to finish off with my black single crochet like that. Take my stitch marker out because I know where I meant. See how it wasn't so badly staggered? It's a little less obvious. So now what we're going to do is a slip stitch again, but this time back to purple. So put your hook through the next stitch, grab a purple band, drag it through and through, and then tie a little knot, and we'll put our stitch marker in there. As I said, it can be a paper clip, anything you want. Now, after this, we're going to be doing, we've just come down to here, all right, we're down to here now. This We will add our eye, but we're not going to put it on just yet. So now what we're going to do is one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five rows, single crochet in purple. I hope I have enough bands. If not, the bottom half of him might be a different purple. So I'm now starting row or round. Doesn't matter if you call it a row or a round. I think in crochet terms it's a round. Two, Three of five.
four a five And on the fifth round, we will add the teeth. So here I am back at the end. All right, now, so this is what we're, this is what we have at the minute. Okay, it looks like a little hat really, doesn't it? Now, our eye, the purple bit needs to be on the top. It's going to look like he's a little bit sleepy. All right, and you can do it either way, it really doesn't matter matter too much at all whichever way you prefer but make sure that your ending point where you you know you start and finish is in the middle here all right and then you place your eye here now if you've got a stitch marker and you can take your hook out because your stitch marker is holding that little loop secure for you so take your loop your hook out and we're going to pop our hook through and drag the black bands here through to the middle of your creation like so I'm going to very carefully turn it inside out so I can see these two bands these two loops that I have here and of course I've lost one it's always handy isn't it let's do that again one is through let's pull the other one through Okay, there we go, I have them both here. Now, what I have tried to do with these is if you just if you just join them together like this, it might be a bit loose. So what I've tried to do is go through some of these little loops at the back here, like that, grab the bands and thread them through some of these little loops. I'm sure it's not really wasting much space on the bands at all, but I just figured it would try and make it so that it wasn't as loose as it could possibly be. So I just sort of, and you know, if it did feel like it was loosening up a little bit, well, then at least I know that I've, you know, it's it's through these through these other loops, and it it might not come too untangled. So I've threaded them through the loops, grab the ends of the two bands like that and I'm going to take a purple, actually I'll take a black because I'm doing it on, with black here, take a, a black band, thread that through those two loops and tie a slip knot like that. Don't worry about the ends here, they all get hidden inside our little contraption. So that is how we stick his eye on, okay? Now, as I said, in this row here, around here, we're doing his teeth. We're going to add his teeth 
here. His arms will go uh, on the on the next row as well, probably. Let me have a look here. Yeah, one above the teeth. So we could we can add his arms up here if we want to. Um, one two on the third. So one two three. They would be about here. So we can we can add those if you want to. We can do those now. Take one of your arms off. Now remember. This has been looped on itself, it's capped, so it's very small. You want to figure out where you want your arms to be, okay, because you want them sort of an appro at approximately on the side, the same spot for each of them. So I've got this smushed in half, and you want to count down one, two, and three. So about here, all right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push, push my hook through, I'm going to grab the two loops from one side and I'm going to pinch the others tightly in my fingers. Drag that through, make sure I don't lose that other loop, drag that through and then back up through the next hole. You have to have a, a loop of band between them, all right, and then you attach. This is probably one of the trickiest bits. You're going to get those two loops from the other side and pull them back through like this. So you have the capped band going through. Do you see we've gone through there like that? And again, I'm going to use a black band only because I'm short of purples. I'm going to tie it like that so that that is one arm. All right. And as you can see, it's just one, one down from where we're at. I'm going to do the same on the other side, so I'm about here. I'm going to push my hook through. You want it to be at about the right spot, the same spot on either side. I'll get my other arm. Here we go. And I'm pinching the, the, the band underneath it. I'm pinching to keep those in place. I'm going to put my hook on the first two loops and I'm going to Pinch these other two, drag one through, keep it on your hook, go through the other spot and grab those other two bands, the two loops, pull them through, so you have them here, and again I'm going to use a black band, pull it through and tie in a slip knot. Alright, so his arms are attached. Now if you do have numerous um, purple bands, purple is great because you won't see it pull through, but it should be just fine. All right, let's keep going round. We're still doing purple. Put your hook back through and we're going to, we need to do the first front five. So one, two, three, four and five. All right, so be mindful of that. Here's our eight. Get out of there. <laughs> One. We're just doing purple single crochets until we get to the front of our little face. So I'm going to do one more purple here. Now this one here, I'm going to do a tooth in here. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five. I think that's going to be okay. So I'm going to take my first tooth, I'm pinching it. All right. I'm going to take a purple band. So I'm going to put my tooth on the same hook. All right. I'm going to take a single purple band and slide that tooth on. So it looks like that. Okay. Let me show you. So it looks like that. Take one side of the purple band and you're just going to do a normal single crochet with this purple band except you've got the tooth on. So slide it through. Reclaim the end of the purple. 
take the middle one up and over and then join and you're going to do the same for this next this next stitch with your next and actually using your holding it you can just slide your tooth on you can slide all of these onto um, purple bands oh this is a tricky little hook so there's one Two, so they're all going to be ready. Three and four. Don't like those little little hooks, but they are good as holding hooks. So we did a, a long tooth here. Let's find a little short tooth. Pull it through. Reclaim. Middle over and then the next one over to join doing a big tooth one side of the purple band through middle then join a little tooth and our last big tooth and yes, it's a bit crooked, but I don't think it matters too much. He uh, he doesn't exactly have fantastic dentistry. <laughs> and these do sort of sit out at, a, at an angle, but there's nothing you can really do about that unless you specifically want to sort of tie them with slip knots to the top here. But I, I don't think it matters. Now we're just going to, I've just twisted my loop, there we go, now we're just going to continue with purple until we get back to our stitch marker, Beginning here, put your stitch marker back in. So there's his teeth. And we're going to keep going around with our purple. Get through those stitches with the teeth on. And just ignore those tie off bands that are in the middle. You don't want to loop them in with anything, but you just they'll just get filled with when we do the stuffing. You won't see those, they'll be on the inside. Okay. 
So you're going to do another round in purple. Again, just single crochet. Oopsie, through both of those. Nearly back to the beginning again. Put my stitch marker here. Just going to stretch him into shape a little bit. So, as you can see, this is how he's looking at this stage compared to what we have here. Yeah. Now. If we have enough, we can do another round in purple, and then we continue on with black. So let me just check how many I have here. These are the little packages that they come in, which is really quite nice. Single little packages. So I'm going to do one more round in purple. So for those that are interested, I've used about 300 purple bands, okay? So here we are, that's all the purple. Now we're going to, ch going to change to black. I'll put my stitch marker back in. Oh, hang on, let me do my first black one. I'm going to take this out. 
I'm going to, I'm going to lose that last stitch and I'm going to do it in black so that it's centered at the back here. It's going to be a slip stitch like that so it's, it's centered at the back or more centered at the back than it would have been. I'm going to put my stitch marker in and now we're doing single crochet in black. Oops, let's catch that and relink them in. back here at the beginning I'm going to go through that slip stitch that we had there now before we go too much further I do want to add his hair because otherwise he's going to look a bit crazy without hair so I'm going to take a single purple band put it on the end of my hook and I'm going to slide all of these little hair extensions that we made, these little chains, ten little chains, slide these all over When you get to the end here and you've got no more to slide on, reclaim the end of your band so you have them both on like this. All right, take one over the other. You're going to grab the first chain and pop it through so this is anchored, okay, like that. So it's sort of like a very wibbledy wobbledy starfish you're going to split the hair in half so you've got uh, five either side two three four five and five there and what we're going to do as you can see there's the little band that we use to tie off you're going to pop a single band through one side and tie in a slip knot like that and you're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so you've got these two loops on his hair like this and we're going to collect those underneath. Get your little creation, poke your hook through the center up through the top of his head. You're going to grab those two loops and pull them through the center of his head like this so that it's going to sit on the top of his head. You have to kind of turn him inside out a bit because we need to anchor these. Okay, so I've turned him inside out 
and now we need to anchor them. What I'm going to do is push through a couple of the loops for one. I'm going to go through a couple of the loops for the other. And you're working inside out, so it doesn't really matter. So you're going through a couple of the little loops on the top. And then all I'm going to do is tie a knot with these two, says me, <laughs> with these two little purple bands. I'm going to tie a knot at the top of his head here. You're not going to see it because his hair's there. So tie a knot like that, and then you can flip him around the other way again. And that's his hair attached to his head. And now we can continue. Put your hook back through your little black band there. You're leaving your stitch marker there. And again, we're just doing single crochets. If you can get your stitch marker out of the way. <laughs> single crochets. This is our second round in black single crochets. We're going to do seven in total before we start to do our decreasing. Oops. And let's go through both of those loops, move our stitch marker. And now we're on round number three. Again, just single crochets. You don't need it to be increased or decreased just yet. So that was the end of three. We're going to do round four. Let's move our stitch marker.
And as I mentioned, I'm going to show you a couple of things that are going to be in the pipe work, pipeline coming through, um, work that I have done prototypes for and uh, would be doing tutorials on sooner rather than later. is the end of four and let's start five if my hook will cooperate with me <laughs> Don't like that band. So let's just compare this to my one that we have here. So what we're going to do now, that was five, I'm going to start doing some decreases. And I know I said seven, but we're going to do the next as decreases. I'm still going to put that here, otherwise it's going to be too long. So I'm going to do a single crochet. Now do you remember how to do decreases? You go through the next stitch as if you were doing a single crochet, but then you go through the next stitch through the front as well. And take your single band and slide it through both of those and reclaim. And then do your crochet. Let's do a single crochet. And then a decrease. See, single crochet followed by a decrease. Single crochet and a decrease. single crochet and a decrease and here's our single crochet now at this point see we're going to drop all our stitches no 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 don't do that single crochet I'm just going to do a single crochet in the next one so that I have my stitch marker on it and we're going to stuff this little thing. There he is. Let's get some stuffing. As I mentioned to you, I use the uh, polyfill, the 100% polyester uh, polyfill. So let's get some stuffing. You can use, um, I've had people use cotton wool. Uh, some people even use bands that are broken, broken bands. You can take your hook out because your stitch marker is holding it in place. Uh, tissues, um, anything really. Uh, one lady had old pieces of yarn and rags and she, she stuffed it with that. So...
depending how firm or how squidgy you want is uh, how much stuffing you put in. This wasn't terribly expensive from the uh, craft shop and it's actually lasted me a long time. It's the first bag I've bought and I've not had to buy any more as yet. But I'm about halfway through it. And that's with all the error things that I make. <laughs> so stuff him till he's the right size that you want him to be. And then we're going to just do decreases to close him up. So pop your hook back. And you don't really need your stitch marker anymore because you're just going to be doing decreases. So you're going to go through the first stitch, push the stuffing out of the way. You can always squidge that back up later and do a decrease. And I don't even bother um, doing a single crochet after that. I literally just do decreases. And I'm going to try and do one more decrease here and then tie it off. Going through here, get a single band and drag it through both of them and tie off in a slip stitch. And then what I'm going to do from the back here, poke my hook up, grab that band or the end of it and pull it back through the center of my little figure Let's get my hook out squidge him up a bit like this now the reason I didn't do his the um, armbands over here it looked really bad and, and here is one that I made originally and um, this one I actually used black bands and similar to the mouth that I did on my um, on this little minion where I did the mouth like that if you want to do the um, brace you know the, the straps of the dungarees all I did was I went through with my hook and looped And I worked my way up like this. And you don't have to do this. This is a uh, a, a part that if you if you don't want to do, don't do it. It doesn't really matter. It's a, a detail that you can do without. I like him just the way he is. But um, some people are sticklers for detail, some people are not. So I just, and it will, because you're, you're pulling it up, it will uh, pull slightly. So yes, I just sort of moved my way up his little body like this. doing the straps
There's little arms in the way there. <laughs> I pulled it through to the end here and then you just go through one more little black band if I can get my hook through like that take a single black band tie it in a slip knot and stuff that hide that inside his body so if you want to do the uh, dungaree straps that is the way to do it i hope you like him i hope you enjoy making him um i think he's i think he's rather fun now i'm going to do the other strap later you can do yours or not do yours as you choose to i said i would show you some of the things that i have in the pipeline you know i have my little dalek so i will be working on a dalek which is a dalek from doctor who so he uh, he is coming and then I had Gladys's permission to do Baymax so here is my little version of Baymax and that will be coming through soon too I've been asking me for Peter Pan and Wendy well this is my version of Peter Pan um, just a prototype at this stage and I'm not sure when I'll actually do him but uh, there you have it he's uh, he's on my list and uh, I have been fiddling. So there we go. Hope you enjoy making the little evil minion. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.